Hello, uh, my name is Ramit De Silva. I'm a lead solutions engineer at WSO2. Uh, this session is about uh, simple integrations that can be done using the micro integrator. Um, so before we move forward, uh, let's start with downloading the micro integrator and then uh, steps to set it up. So first you need to go to the, just Google it for WSO2 Integration Studio. And once you go to the micro integrator site, you could click on download and then you could provide your corporate email address, uh, set the software license and then uh, download the integration studio and there will be a one-time download link to email to your uh, email account specified over here once you install the wso2 integration studio uh, you can open it and then uh, you could uh, provide a workspace uh, in your local environment and then you can launch the integration studio then after the integration studio is started up, uh, but you can start it off with uh, creating a new integration project. So over here also you can create an integration project. Also you can right click and create an integration project as well. So you can give it a uh, name for the integration project. And then you could just click next. Say test and then finish and then you could see the integration project has been created now let's start on developing basic integrations using the ws2 integration studio so let's uh, try out an api in occasion uh, for into the ws2 micro integrator and then do some message transformation and mediation and how to all do all those integrations uh, by drag and dropping all those components and also configure them those so let's create a api over here you can give a name and a context so this would be the context when calling the API, which is deployed in the micro integrator. And then once you finish, you will be given an API also with a resource in a uh, root level resource. Then we could drag and drop some of those components in order to call some HTTP endpoints. So let's create an HTTP endpoint and configure it. So you could have several HTTP methods. So let's give an sample point over here. So let me make it text as a guest. You could have some different advanced or configurations as well then let's save it as once we save it you can go to the source view with this and then you can see that our configuration is also available in the source view as well and then like since we have only one resource you could just drop another resource as well and then provide an maybe if you need some parts in the api you can have a uri template uri template and then also give some test path over here and you could mention what, what is the method as well so once you save it and then when you go back to the source view you can see this 
other resource that you added as well. Now let's see on how to import and connector and then use that connector within your integration studio. So these connectors are uh, available on the WC2 connector store and it is also can be accessed using the uh, integration studio. So uh, first what you have to do is we need to create a connector exporter over here. And then let's click on next. This would be test, and then we could finish. So after that, what you have to do is you need to right click on this test configs and then add or remove modules. Then when you click on next, you get the full list of connectors that is available in the WC2 extension. So let's say as an example, um, you need to download this lambda connector. So once you click on it, it will be downloaded, and then you could click on next, and then you could provide the connector exporter that you have created previously, so that it will be available in that particular. Connect exporter as well. Yeah. Then you will be able to get this Amazon Lambda connector over here. And then when you need to do any configurations or changes, what you have to do is you just can drag and drop over here and then whatever the parameters you can configure. So that is the same for all the connectors when you need to install it in the WSO2 integrator studio. Also, when getting the connector into the workspace uh, or the uh, connector exporter, you could straight away go to the website and then search for the, your connector and then download. After that, you could add or remove that connector using the file system with the Amazon Lambda or else you could use the workspace in order to select it and import as well. So after that when your integration project is completed you could export the composite application project to your preferred location in the WZ2 integrator repository deployment server carbon apps and then you need to select your projects so since I have two projects there are other project folders sub projects all these are getting listed so need to create the correct ones and then finish then the archive file will be successfully created in the given destination as well. Once you have done with the integrations, without sending it to the micro integrator instance uh, that is running locally or in an another VM machine, you could test this solution in the embedded micro integrator instance in the studio itself. So, if you need to configure the integration studio, the embedded integration studio you could use this uh, deployment thermal and also if there are any files that needs to be added any jar files you could add it from your file systems into this and then select save and then you could run the embedded micro integrator server over here then you need to select the connect exporter and then the test configs and then click on finish and then the micro integrator will be starting in the integration studio itself and you could see 
the test API is being deployed and also you could see the URLs that we have defined as well over here. 